Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Jamarit coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we are selling off one of my most expensive cards, claiming end of era Totti, as well as Diabala 95 overall retro. Let's go. Woo! So guys, welcome to another video on the channel. Now guys, we're just going to quickly open up a few Retro Stars packs. Uh, shout out to the guy Pokemon Taha, who mentioned this in one of my videos, to do the Carnival Daibara. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to open up two packs, so it cost me around 300k. Um, but yeah, let's see what we get guys. We're just looking for the Retro Talent Tokens, the Silver ones, as well as the Carnival ones. Um, but yeah, pretty much like just from grinding from Higuain, I've pretty much gathered a whole bunch of carnival tokens. Um, and also, you know, I've always got retro stars tokens just by grinding the event. I'm also looking at doing Murdens as well. But first, guys, I want to do this Diabala because, like the guy in my comments said, it is 100% profit, guys. Especially, you know, if you, you, everybody will have these collectibles. Um, and yeah, I'm just opening the packs just because I can save on stamina as well. So let's see what we get in this. Do we get anything else in these packs? It doesn't look as though we are. We get a program pack token, which is nice. Uh, silver ones are always going to help, guys. Anything else here? We get an Easter one. These packs are huge, man. These are really good value for money, these packs, guys, if you are completing the plans. Like, for example, you can sell the Lunar tokens for around, you know, 15k. But yeah, let's just have a look at the progress on that Diabala. If I need some more tokens, I will go and get them, then I'll be right back. So yeah, I still need three more, so I'll be right back, guys. So guys, we are back and we've gone through and picked up the three extra carnival tokens. They're around 15k if you're sniping them. So yeah, I probably spent, you know, obviously those two packs, uh, plus all the grinding, etc. But I can sell this card for around 1.1 million coins. So if you guys haven't done it, make sure you do it. Um, as you guys can see here, if we look them up, we will try and find the price of that Diabala. But yeah, make sure you guys are doing these plans. They are very useful, guys. And shout out once again to the guy in the comments who made me aware of that. So 1.1 million, guys. Definitely easy, easy stuff to do. Anyway, let's get into the main part of the video. Anyway, guys, uh, just in relation to me selling off Tiago Silva. So I did propose on Instagram whether or not I should sell him in an attempt to get the top transfers Neymar. Um, as you can see, my coins are only at 76,000 at the moment. Like, I've been buying the PSG contracts and I fell short, so I needed to sell this Thiago Silva. Now, what I'm going to be doing in replacing the Thiago Silva is going to go and try and get uh, Mascherano as high as I can. I don't think I'll get him to 100 overall because they are pretty hard to get that high unless you, you know, buy bundles, but I don't buy bundles, guys. Um, so, yeah, the thing is, is that... It was one of the hardest decisions I had to make to sell this card, but at the end of the day, I think I made the right one because that top transfers Neymar card is absolutely insane, man. Like it gives plus two overall, as well as are uh, you getting an exclusive card next year? So that is like they're all very, very good reasonings behind the fact as to why I did sell the Neymar. I uh, sorry, did sell this Thiago Silva. So you know, I'm pretty much replacing one PSG player with another, so in that sense, that's pretty cool. Also another Brazilian with another Brazilian. Pretty funny how that works, right? Replacing your most valued card for another valued card of the exact same nation and club. But that's just how the cookie crumbles, guys. But yeah, this is one of the rarest cards in the game. Um, I do still have Sergio Ramos at back, and I'm still working on the David Luiz. I'll have a video out for that David Luiz once I get him. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's just go through and claim this. 4.8 mil coins, pretty crazy. So here we are, guys. The final time I get to see this card in my club. My coins are well back up now, so I'll be able to do a bit more things in preseason. Maybe also even an elite uh, treasure chest. I might do an opening on that, but let's go through and claim up this uh, Totti end of era card. So guys, we are back, and we just needed to go through and pick up a few more Roma tokens. The tokens have gone up. Like, you can obviously snipe them for a bit cheaper. But it's so hard to, guys. Like, there are some for, like, 23 or 24,000. And they're just ridiculously hard to snipe. Um, the next thing that we're going to be doing, guys, is going through and claiming that Francesco Totti. So it is pretty exciting. Um, I did actually sell my community team of the week, Ronaldo, as well as uh, Lacazette. And obviously just the Thiago Silva, who you just saw. So pretty much the coins from those three players are funding Neymar, as well as, um, like... 
end of era, uh, maybe another Retro Stars player, as well as just um, the Elite Treasure Chest and whatever else might come out. But yeah, let's go into the completion of that Totti plan. So here we are, and guys, just quickly, one thing is that, as you can see here, we have done this exchange 11 times, so it was possible for free to play to do end of era uh, 3 times, so by the time the game resets, I would have done it 15 times, which is nice, and also if you did miss a week, there is that million coin uh, pack, million coin coin pack, or million coin pack, in the store which you can do for the legacy tokens so that's quite nice but anyway let's go into claiming this francesco toddy 99 overall plus three ball control plus four acceleration pretty nice boosts the only thing that sort of lets him down is his pace but to be honest i'm very rarely going to be using the 411 um so it doesn't really make all that much difference the thing is is that like he has got you know pretty nice boosts so that that is one good thing what an absolute legendary player as well, you know, he's been with Roma his whole career. So it's nice to have a, you know, a player who pays tribute to his club such as Toddy. Now, as I said guys, I will be able to do one more. I'm thinking of doing either Philip Lam or one of the midfielders. It just depends really on how I go with the preseason players and how far I get on them. But let's just jump into some gameplay really quickly. Some gameplay guys, let's just have a look at his stats. So he's actually quite a nice card, you know, he's obviously better than Hoysen there. Hoysen's a very good uh, game changer by the way. But yeah, he's got great dribbling, great passing and great physical. Uh, so pretty much what you expect from the Totti. Um, I'm still looking at replacing my left forward. Uh, also, obviously, Marco Royce as well, who will be eventually replaced by Neymar. Just got to keep grinding for that. Maybe Urzel with Sigurdsson. I don't know, though. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have the time to grind out versus attack. Obviously, the central mid and um, maybe left wing back if I have enough kits, guys. But it all really depends on the kits. And maybe Philip Lum for Coleman, as well as, obviously, a center back. Also, just quickly, guys, I do need to uh, mention one thing. I was just thinking to myself whether or not I should bring back our squad doctor for the last sort of few weeks and then obviously continue it into the new season. I've had a few people asking me if I can do squad doctor for their team. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, ultimately squad doctor is where I have a look at your team and give you suggestions based off your budget like, and sort of like what you're wanting to do. Um, so if you guys want me to bring back squad doctor for maybe one or two more episodes before the season resets. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. I will actually uh, leave a pinned comment. If that comment does get enough sort of, um, you know, replies or whatever, I will go through and start the Squad Doctor again. Um, maybe, yeah, like I said, two to three episodes. We'll just see. But, yeah, guys, let me know. Um, so, without further ado, let's jump into some gameplay. So, guys, let's just jump into a quick verse attack game to see what toddy is like i've heard that he isn't actually the greatest of cards or players uh because his speed is really like it's a huge detrimental factor to him but i mean at the end of the day guys he does give you know relatively nice boosts as well as the fact that he does um you know he is 99 overall so you, you just you can't complain about that do you see that that was really random the ball was in mid-air that is that is very odd I actually saw that the other day, or yesterday I think it was, in Joe Boleyn's video. It is a bit of a glitch that does go on at the moment, uh, the fact that the ball uh, floats sort of mid-air whilst you're running with it. But yeah guys, who did you do in the uh, end of era? Like, which cards did you pick as we hit the post there? But Higuain is there to finish. Higuain is a great card, man. I do really like him. Like, he doesn't have the pace like, say, a Griezmann does. But he does have that finish, man. He does have that finish. And he does have the knack of, you know, just being in front of goal when you need him. So guys, here we are. We've got a few seconds left in this game. Let's try and get the ball to Totti. Here he is, guys. Man of the hour. New card. He's actually got pretty decent finishing, but he, he does really lack on the, um, the pace front. But anyway, not going to complain about it. But let me know who you guys have been choosing for your end of era players, guys. And pretty much this is going to be the end of the video for today. I don't know if the guy was actually playing, but 7-0, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, my fan count, it's a bit below 1 million. I need to start demoting to go and get me some of those Neymar tokens for um, the, the transfer, the silver ones. 
But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video for today. Thank you all for everything and peace.